if you go out to big on the third day. So pistol round underway, twist here, try to hold down ramp, and already he's lost control. This B site has fallen into big hands. That Hampus interview makes me a little bit sad with how you know chipper and happy he was, and now where they are. A retake here for NIP on the B-bomb site. Propsky, oh, he's caught one in the corner. Taps has gone down. He's going to get traded, leaving a nip a man down. No kick currently. A smoke on Nork, but he needs his kill and he's lost his life. It's twist on nine in a one on three. And Big are saying nine to NIP. It's not your round. It's going to be a Big with a pistol. Just about how much damage Twist can do coming back in through the ramp room. Any money would be nice here at this point. But that's not the one, a sentence Twist wants to hear. It's Big finding their first. If anyone has any better Big jokes than I have, which is the one, which is, you know, like, Big fan, <laughs> then let me know because... God, even I'm getting bored of it now, Hugo. I don't believe that for a second. I'm not actually. The longer I keep going with it, the funnier it gets to me, which, you know, is a really bad thing. Uh, so let's see, NIP, they're, uh, they're taking a force by here in the second round. A big, they are not messing about, mate. They are rushing into ramp. There's no one even watching it. NIP, they, you've already lost the same place as last time, and now they go down into this B site. Now, admittedly, Hampus is already here. And the rotations are now coming through because he gets all this information. Do be sure to bear in mind that a little Ooh, sneaky... Like oh, hello. Oh. Left. Oh, a bit left. Uh, Tabs, no, not Tabs. Keto, rather, is waiting in the most goblin-esque position you've ever seen. He's holding down ramp, just waiting for these players to rotate in on the retake. And so if he shuts down two, like he should be able to, this round is already over. Ooh. However, he gets bested. They were aware that he was there. They clear it out. And now this round can oh fall apart. The Molotov going to burn down Plopski to one point of health along with Rez. But it's only Zatares and Tabson left standing. Tabson's got to do it all. This was 1v4 when this clutch began. And he will get put in the ground big. They have this round slip by the wayside. NIP, they got it's it. close. It's very close. And they don't <sighs> got it, Hugo. They don't got no. it. I feel like you need to stop predicting bombs, Hugo V. Byron, man. I used to be so good. I, I used peaked. To be, you I'm know? washed up, Harry. It's nuke. It always gets me. That was, I mean, the only reason I'm saying that is because Nork's already on the bomb before, you know, uh, Tabson's even uh, killed as well. He, stuck, he was sticking it from a while before, so... That is, that is a heartbreaking round for NIP. I will say they took some time to come out through that ramp room. You were talking about Keto in the corner there. He had a great position. And even though he gets nothing done, NIP was so aware, so hesitant, that I guess that delays them to a millisecond too late. But yeah, I'm going to stop calling bomb plants because I've messed up two on Nuke this tournament. And that's unlike me. And I'm unhappy with that one. But big... They'll be cheering. They'll be laughing all the way to the bank. NIP have made a withdrawal. They've pulled a force buy into this round, and Hampus turns around as Tizian checks it. That's unfortunate. Big. They're going to drop more through the vent. Sis and holding onto the ladder as well. Won't let Propsky follow him down. Twist doing one. And the bomb planting here for Big. Good grenades. But they're trapped to the back of the site. They've got to take fights. Tapson will succeed in his, leaving Rez and Nork in a retake. Wow. Well. Rez looking like already he wants to go hold on to the AK and Nork's not going to be able to find much now that he's spotted so big. They get this one locked in. They go 3-0 up. They deal with the force back from NIP. Obviously putting everything into this round because they, they, they survive in that last one with a player still up. They take down everyone on big. They've got the chance to reset this T-side squad now and, and that doesn't happen. And so this is where like that, that pendulum is now of, of kind of the momentum of this game has swung back the other way and suddenly it's NIP with no money Essentially, you know, you're going to get like these first kind of four rounds just slipping by you. Saving that Famous, okay, no, they actually can buy now, right? You, you drop a gun over on Rez, you drop a gun over from Nork, but I don't know if they're going to, because I feel like the longer you keep up with these kind of terrible buys, the further big are going to steamroll ahead. So I actually like this decision to partially invest, right? You're just cutting your losses. You're not going to go five, six rounds in before you have that full buy assembled. No, you're looking for it in the following round. I still likely, likely going to leave big 4-0 up. Assuming NIP can upset here, so they are in a great position. 
Twist getting aggressive on the ramp side. Smoke is down. No one's even watching it from radio. They're playing very safe inside of the lobby. Big might want to go back towards his door position. They got so many players down vents in the last. And especially when you know your opponents don't have you know good money, i.e. utility and rifles, that vent uh, drop becomes a whole lot more tantalizing. No smoke spam available. Plopsky with a CZ, not the best gun for, for stopping event dive, for example. He's playing above the hut. Big, I like the patience. Again, they don't know what NIP are bringing into this round, right? They can make an assumption. They know there were guns saved, but what have these remaining players done? It's going to start to seem more clear as big spot pistols. Hampus won't be giving away any info, though, tucked in the garage. Technically allowing big to cross secret if they want, but Nork is still keeping an eye on things outside. Smoke's going to come down late from spawn. These are deeper smokes as well. He's going to land towards the main side, allowing Big to take garage if they want, battle up against Hampus, or just cross secret towards B. Lots of opportunity, lots of options available. Three smokes landing. Tapson gets spotted, but he does get down successfully. Twist is still close, but not for long. Yeah, and this round Perry are now taken once again. It's the drop into B. Now through the vents, there are two players hot on the heels of Taps, and he gets spotted there by Plopsky. And Rez has just given up the aim of the game, being down in decon. Tabson, oh, pressured from everywhere, oh. and he just makes it look too easy, doesn't he? Three kills in a matter of seconds, and now Nork all alone, wondering what went wrong in this round. And the answer, just about everything. He's dealt with the first man, but there's the trade from Tabson, who's feeling it right now. It's 4-0 for Big. One of the things I will say as well is that I absolutely loved Hizian on this map. Like he's 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 a master of this hut and door area. Like so damn good at it. So keep your eye on that. Especially some of the stuff that like him and Zantares do over here towards this area T side. Uh, Mahone TV actually has a really really good video on that. You know breaking down Tizian squeaky and hut plays. So. That's something to check out if you want to be on the same page as the big boys. Yeah, maybe NIP need a link, Harry. Right <laughs> I'll now. link that one over, right, guys? Yeah. Um, maybe should have done this before the game, but... Well, let's see what they've got now to show, right? Keep in mind that all these rounds have been forces or half buys for NIP. They've now got their first gun round with Nork on the AWP, and... Uh, you know, that's a big talking point. When we had Twist primary orping and Letcro back in his team, it was often Nork playing Garage on his own, whether he had the orp or not, and Twist would t uh, often orp ramp. Twist is still in that position, but obviously not with that weapon. Nork has taken a deep CT position as Hampus is instead sat in the garage. He doesn't need to fight to his death here. Oh, he's actually in secret, rather. So at least stopping a B play. Nork can communicate players crossing towards main. Oh, that door opens inward because the smoke lands in front, but it's going to get blown off regardless. Big boosting above a smoke on ramp. They love to do this. There's no smoke down, actually. Searson's just looking really low down, trying to find Twist. Twist is just giving him a jiggle, not fully exposing himself, not taking the risk, not yet at least. And so Big will begin to move in under the assumption they have more room than they do. And now they actually do. Twist has fallen to B, Nork's come to replace, and he's hit a shot and will fall off. Low HP, no need to hang around there forever. Big haven't exactly got an open path to the B site thanks to Twist's position. And they also don't have a whole lot of time. It's not looking like a B play. The bomb is in door. Unless that's going down the vent, Big might have to look at this A bomb site later on. Yeah, Tabson out into A, deals with the first map, but Plopsky does get one for his troubles. Rez now following up, and Searson not able to overcome him with the AWP. Keto up in heaven is the only hope, and there's one up the vent, but not able to find it. It's going to slip by the wayside. NIP get their first on the board. And that's a positive start for Rez, right? He went, what, 0-14, 0-15, maybe even the previous, uh, the previous map. Literally a double agent. Yeah, wow. So starting off this map strong, getting a 3K in the first gun round, that's going to be great for his mentality. And hopefully we won't have any sleepers here for NIP. For those who are not initiated, this is an elimination match in the lower bracket of Group A. So a lot of pressure on right now. Chance of being removed from the tournament on day three. Big don't want that to happen in their home country, despite this being online. NIP... Wow, they, uh, I guess beggars cannot be choosers. Tapson, oh dear, his head's gonna stick out. Hampa sees him above the smoke. NIP with a man advantage, crucially. Big grouping towards ramp, nice little grenade coming through for Twist. He fell off in the previous round, but the orb this time is a bit further away. It's up in the A site, so it won't be able to assist him from hell, giving Big even more room if they wanna wrap. Norks found himself a kill with that AWP into the lobby. 
big. They're doing exactly what they can. They know this AWP isn't here. They've just seen it on A, so they're going to take the control towards Hell and see where they can go from here. Popsky must be so nervous. You know, Ramp has gone completely quiet. You know they can come from heaven. See us in... Oh, no, that's going to give up the aim of the game, but Plopsky does recover and follows up with another. Keto now ascending into the heavens slowly but surely, and hopefully that's just in the, uh, the sense that he can still bring this one back down to Earth. It's a kill onto Plopsky. There's Nork with the trade, though, and he's going to keep an IP in this one. A second round on the board for the Swedes. As now the money runs out for big, this is a very good chance for NIP to kind of springboard themselves into a better situation here. Yeah, finally breaking big's money as well. Never thought I'd say that considering how the previous game went and even after NIP won their pistol round in the CT side, big four sport got a win, NIP did the same and then big finally closed it out with three in a row off another force buy. So... Yeah, we are going to be seeing big eco this one for a change. A welcome change, at least for the Swedes. Quick tack pause before they get into things, though. And it's not like they can really afford much here in terms of utility. You've got two players who can buy up a smoke without putting their money in a compromised position below that 2K mark that you really want, considering the loss bonus is not maxed out by any means. But big, will they buy anything or will they just accept the likelihood that this round is probably a throwaway? More likely than not by the looks of things. We've got a deagle. Yeah, we got a couple. And I always get scared, man. I don't know. I just I think about like the days when you'd have like German teams, deegs on cash. Back then, that was a terrifying sight indeed. Let's see if they can uh Live up to the height with Deagles on Nuke. They do get a man down through the uh, the secret tunnel, and he's now rerouting his way down in towards B. Now, Twist isn't going to be ready for this, surely. Looked like uh, Hampus was under the illusion that Tabson had wrapped back in towards Garage, and he's very, very paranoid about that. So we're going to try and time the breaking of the glass. You can see Twist was like a bit confused, but he, he works it out, right? You're not just going to be breaking the glass for no reason. And he's only got one place to worry about, which is that B site. So this one, you know, NIP, they've done well at just mitigating danger, dealing with this piece by piece, breaking down big. Now just Keto and Zantara's left up, but an AK retrieve and Keto with a Ooh. freebie on Therese, who didn't seem aware that this man was outside. Zantara's falls, and now for Keto, they know where he is. They cross Plopsky back into the garage. Nork's holding close, and he's got that one dead to right. So NIP, a third on the board. Yeah, Zantara's just shooting out that windows above uh, above A at the same time. But, you know, that, that works typically when you don't have a lower player. But if you physically have someone on the B-bomb site, regardless of those windows breaking on A, you can hear the ones next to you as well. So that's uh, not going to work wonders for big. And it all comes off the back that, okay, yes, Hampus plays passive in Garage. That's what we're seeing so far. He's usually waiting on the AWP support, but he hears tabs and run down below. So it, it's no question to NIP how deep big have gotten. And they're going to take another eco, a half by a fast one as well, out into the A site, door blown off. And Plopsky is going to be taking names here on top of the silo, pistols out. Now, dueling Zantara is only Tizzy and assists and left there's just running through smokes. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. And right now, it's Searson falling last. And IP equal up four to four. And it's good to see a back and, well, not even a back and forth, but big, you know, going up 4-0 and oh, and NIP coming back in with some rounds of their own. So not going down without a fight here at ESO One Cologne. But this is going to be the true test. Big back with guns. Man, that's some high brightness on the monitor. I feel like I'm going a little blind just from looking at it. Tizian over here at the door, and this man is very, very good in this position. He's going to get out fast. Tabson coming in a little bit late. Tizian now dealing with the man on hot and following up onto Plopsky. They lose in Tarez. In the meantime, that's over towards outside. He gets caught trying to come through main. Tizian still holding down this side of the map, but with two players in heaven and one in main, this isn't information that Big are privy to. And so Searson is just holding on to the lobby. 
The only man they know about is Hampus back Ooh. in main. It's the double heaven peak that blindsides Tizian, but he's done well. He's got three in this round. Searson now has to finish the job that Tizian so graciously started. And first and foremost, looking for the outside kill. Oh, Ooh. looking for that follow up as well. But Nork is going to beat him to the punchline. Five for NIP with one player surviving. It's close. Not quite enough to get it over the line for Big. Yeah, nice try there. I mean, Big, you know, they, they go for the fast A in the round prior with pistols. And so maybe that was almost uh, trying, to, trying to work out where an IP are playing and, and what to look out for in the follow-up round. They had a pause prior to that. So had their game plan under wraps, but just about losing it in the one-on-one. -on -one. And again, more low economy for Big as NIP's bank builds. It's good to see. Windows getting broken. We might see another one of those A executes or even a late one here. Some Molly for Hut Roof on Keto. Bigger going back to set out these deep outside smokes before, throwing three. Trying to work out how much room they can get. Hampus is playing at the back of Garage. We've got an AWP in CT Hell for Nork. And so these smokes are going to cut off both of these positions, considering Big like to throw one into the garage as well. There's a lot of room here for Big, and they're going to be splitting in through that A main smoke in towards the A site. Actually, no. Consider me wrong. They're actually going ramp rather than lobby. So this outside control is just to get Garage. Great flash for Nork. Hampus doubles down. Uh, Big, they wanted the B bomb site, but they've got to get past Twist. That they do, and the orb immediately rotates in. Yeah, this is where things get tricky now. That Molotov has just bailed them out, right? Nork was able to hold these rotations. And so that Molly forces him away. That gets them into the B site, but their battle is just beginning. Now they've got to get past the rest of NIP. Down here in B, it's Plopsky holding this angle. Keto swinging in. Zantares bests him with the Deagle. Now Hampus, it's his time to shine to try and get this back under what? control. And one by one, the kills are given over to Big. Keto and Zantares. This was two on four when this B site takes started. Nork, they want revenge. He plucked their teammate out of the round just moments ago, oh. and Keto's going to have it. Now Rez all alone. 1v2, wondering how this round has eluded NIP. He's got to try and stumble them back to their feet. Creeping in through Decon. Door swings open, but Keto holds the line. It's five for big as they get us all tied up here on the back of that partial investment. Wow, those are some serious Zantara's peaks coming out from Keto and Zantara's getting two guns dropped down in the B-bomb site and using them to great effect. Oh, that is a heartbreaking round for NIP, especially considering the fact that, you know, Nork sets Hampus up outside with that flash, finds two kills immediately. They even trade pretty well over on ramp with that AWP, uh, and then Big just went a massive two on four like that. Keeping things competitive, keeping them close, and breaking the five-round streak of the Swedes. Luckily, NIP have bank to fall back on uh, off of the back of those five rounds, so the AWP is still going to be available. Plopsky having a great game right now. 13 and 8, 134 ADR. The guy we often look to here over on NIP, the one consistent pillar. And they need him more than ever in this series especially considering this is Big's map pick and they are facing elimination. Outside aggression and Hampus has been spotted trying to run the gauntlet. Has to go back and does get naded, tagged up. On the attempt to leave, Plopsky found in the meantime over here towards the A site. Hampus lining them up and almost a double, but not quite. It still leaves big with the advantage. And this is going to put pressure on NIP to maybe push and prod the other areas of the map, right? Just to make these sacrifices worthwhile. Nork is now the man stepping up to the plate. But look at Tizzy and this angle is so gross. He's waiting. Searson holding ramp in the meantime. Tizzy and oh, the timing might not be great for him oh. here, but actually back in with the peak. The Molly forces Nork forward. And this leaves Rez hung out to dry at the A site. He does now have Twist moving into heaven. So both players here, but down goes Rez. And at this point, drop down to B for, a, for the big boys. They'll be able to get that planted. And Twist is left in an undoable 1v4. Oh, he sees this and through the smoke. But if I learn anything from that A ramp smoke on Vertigo, I wouldn't want to trifle with this guy. The grenade will do the job instead. And Twist looks to get out alive with the orb. Realizing that maybe this one is a little bit too cut and dry. But they are they are hunting, Harry. They aren't even waiting around. Big have cut him off from every position. Tizian is hitting the timing to perfection. And goodbye, Twist. No AWP today. 
Big aren't even going to need it. They've got one of their own on Quito. Six to five, back in the lead and breaking the money of NIP. They had a couple of rifle rounds in a row, but that's all Big are going to allow them to take. You can see the stress as well. It's clearly getting to a twist in the rest of NIP because... Ooh, not being able to get away with that AWP is is the one thing they would have had in this round. It's a P250 and four USPs. Big going outside in this one. And IP are not going to be armed well to deal with yard control. That, uh, that sm uh, Molly, rather, is a two for one. Also, it clears out close red. Like anyone glaving that smoke is going to be denied by the Molotov. And also, it means the smoke pops immediately. So, big don't need to cross red and wait for the smokes to bounce, 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 plume. You know, they're just going to immediately appear. Uh, big can get down towards B very quickly and silently at that. NIP just have no idea. They haven't seen anything. They're stacked up in CT. They send down Twist as like the sacrificial lamb into this B bomb site and he he's not in for a very good time you can imagine. Oh he does get behind the silo, so he's at least got that going for him. But I'm really like, you know, he's got a P two fifty. What can you hope for here? Uh oh, now he knows. There's the first kill. Looking for a bit more. Door swings wide and the aim punch gets the better of him. That B site now belongs to big and the rest of NIP. You know, they may as well have a bit of a challenge. They've only got these USPs, so anything they can take away is great. Or they could just float around and try and shut down Big as they look to hold on to these rifles. But either way, it's a seventh round for Big as they continue to storm ahead here on the T side. I really feel for Twist in a map like this with the position he's having to play and the way that Big are playing this T side, right? You mentioned it yourself in, in the... NIP having no info on that outside control. So when Twist is rotating down, he's just rotating down blind. He doesn't know what to expect. He doesn't know if Big have got a lurk in secret or have the entire five-man roster. And so you just kind of got to kind of pick a spot and hope you can trade effectively, hope you can get a one-for-one. One. It's a very difficult spot. And Big, they are really making NIP work for every kill. Seven to five. It continuing to be in control of this game. Three in a row. NIP come back in with guns. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Uh, better beard. But yeah, not bad. Well, we've had our snacks, but the full main course for Big is outside here in this round. And Hampus, he's looking hungry for it. They've actually gone up and passed him into oh. the main. And this A site, it just crumbles. Hampus tries to hold on, but he can't. And so th this round's already over once again. Big are just in full control for Twist and Nork. It's just going to be a save. This is like the, the ebbs and flows of this game have been a very, very weird one, right? It's like NIP go on that little win streak, they get a few rounds on the tally, and then it feels like the moment Big bounce back, the, the rounds are like one in the opening, 20, 30 seconds. Well, well, yeah, in this instance, in this example, NIP, they set up to deal with exactly what Big have just done, like three rounds in a row, which is this heavy outside control, you know, pushing towards a garage, going to secret. And so what they do is they put Nork down the ramp into B to come and peak secret. Now, obviously, that play is on a timing. If you get rushed outside, if Big go fast, they're going to hit secret as you hit the stairwells of CT. Uh, and so, you know, Nork is going to be late there if he wants to walk it. And as he gets the secret from B, Big are already inside of A main. They're already inside of the site and they're winning all the gunfights. NIP were not set up for that play because every time they come up with a solution to what Big are doing, Big changed the game plan. They changed the strat book and staying very, very fresh. And that's when, you know, having uh, like ha having someone like God B it is so helpful in this team. We've got Toby as well, ex Sprout coach, joined these guys earlier last year. So there's just so many minds inside of this team. And Big are just making all the right calls right now. Yeah, that's what I love about this Big squad, right? They don't just like have their plans and they plan for everything to go right. They have a million different ways to do one thing, you know? And that's what's so great and so annoying in the server when you see teams trying to play against them. Hampus has decided like, we've been giving them a bit too much respect outside. So he's got aggressive with the Deagle and there's kills waiting here for him. No but Keto way. turns back and checks it. So immediately we're into this four on four. Tizian waiting patiently at the door, might get blindsided by this CZ. Has to be careful, Rez. 
is in like this awkward spot there where he's teetering between the idea of rotating down to B, especially with outside now being a mystery. Tizian does go down. Nork's gone aggressive here into the lobby. And as they as they think this is cleared, nice. we needed Nork to hold his ground and just stick around because now they get the info that even more players are just filtering in. Zantares with two. But he needs the 4K, he needs the 1v4. Flash out to try and give him safe passage. Nork though, already on the angle. And NIP, they're gonna get this one over the line with a pretty weak buy. Yeah, they're actually keeping 2K a player. So that's a hugely profitable round, right? They were planning for the worst, but hey, best case scenario, you get out with a, with a couple of guns and the AWP as well. So everything they need, they've got for the last round of the half. And that is a, uh, you know, a breath of fresh air as it were. Nork very confident. I mean, you have to be at this point. Your, eliminate, your tournament life is on the line. Elimination is looming over. You can't sit back and wait. And Nork 14 and 6, having a great game despite the scoreline. Big, they're going fast and furious. Yeah, Zintaris with the opener. Rez will follow up, but he's not ready for Tizian out through hot. And this A site overrun already. Rotations having to come on through. The utility's great at just denying these... Uh, NIP players are getting into these kind of safe positions, ready for the retake. And that's allowed the bomb plant to come in. Now, bear in mind, Searson is embarking on one hell of a journey. And Whoa. Oh, hello. Hello, Nork. There he is. Down he goes. And Searson almost with the follow-up brings Twist down to eight points of health now. 1v2 required from him. And they know where he is. They've got his name. They've got his number. They know the address. It is a cold caller's worst nightmare. Twist down from heaven. Tries to cover the sound of the drop with the gunshot. Smoke down on the bomb, hoping to bait a peek from Big, but they're not giving him anything. And this round should be impossible. He's got to stick it in the smoke on the bomb. Someone just needs to peek. One bullet's all. We've even got the dual Berettas on Tizzy, and so let's keep an eye on that. We've already seen Keto show Ooh. his value with them. In this round, though, immediately the kill is found by Nork over here outside. This is cool. This little bait and switch over towards ramp is very, very interesting. So Zentares gets the attention. He drops down. He goes through the motions like any ramp player would. And then Searson, sneaky little Searson, sat here. There's one. They don't check for him. No one's ever checking this position. And uh, that there is a nice little kill. But Twist still holding on over here in hell. Looking to raise some hell here for the big squad as Twist taps down oh. another. Searson hits the deck and now it all falls onto Tizzy at Dual Berettas. He's 1v3, but with two guns in his hand, is that going to be enough to help him navigate this clutch? Two players up in heaven, anything but ideal. Hampus over outside as well. The flash goes in, Tizzy and still hit. Oh, no. Tries to catch the timing, and the moment he looks away, Hampus comes in with the peak. So NIP, they get the pistol round under their belts, they get themselves a seventh, they pick up the dual Berettas, and now they're ready to try and Carve a bit of a path here in this second half of play. Yeah, it seems like Big got very hungry in that one after they found those opening kills, right? Tr Keto trading outside, and then as Searson drops one, he sees Plopsky gets to, to hell and gets up the ladder. So him and Zantaris just start to chase, but they don't account for Twist still being tucked hell side. And he pretty much saves that round for NIP. Big knew everything. Big had all the info, but it was simply about getting cut off on their rotate back towards A. Huge opening round for NIP, and they're not done with that. Hampus is going to take down Keto. We've been painting a grim picture, right? And 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 that is off the back of, you know, Big looking so good on Vertigo, but also nine rounds on the T side of Nuke is impressive as well. Not to say that NIP can't do that more. We know they've been doing a lot of practice here with a new in-game leader. It's just about showing it. And especially about, you know, getting rid of this force buy for Big with, with how every time NIP seemingly get a pistol, Big immediately reset them. So that can't afford to happen here if NIP want to stay in this map. Wasn't Tizian's intention there to fake getting up on top of the hub? But that's the move he's gone with. And he tries to swing wide to deal with Hampus, but instead... Ends up hitting the deck. Now taps a deagle out. Good for one. That's it from him. And this A site now belongs to NIP. Zantares and Searson. Two versus four. And they're already falling back into CT spawn. They're looking to take a little holiday and hold on to these weapons. So it's eight on the board for NIP. They keep four players alive. Slowly but surely, 
stumbling back to their feet. It's still a long ways to go for this comeback to happen, but it's definitely not in, uh, not impossible, especially when you think, right, back on Vertigo, we had Hampus delivering clutch after clutch. We had Rez with a very, very quiet game, now looking a little bit better here on Nuke. Plopsky as well is the real talking point, I think. Usually the man that we look to to be the star of this NIP squad, he was very, very quiet back on Vertigo, but here he's bringing the heat. And so the, the recipe's kind of coming together yeah. for an IP to long this one out. You know, you've got the ingredients there. Now it's about making something with them. Oh, that's a beautiful camera angle. I imagine done by MC. I've got to give the proper credit. He is the guy doing some of these fly-throughs all the way from Australia. Great yeah, we, we have too. a whole, like, worldwide team going yeah. on. We've got Rush Observing in the studio. you got Bastian Faber from Denmark. you got Jakey from the UK. And then you got MC from Australia. I love it. We have so many talented observers all working on one broadcast. Yeah, Ben, Ezio as well. He's given us all these little stats that we see from time to time uh, at the bottom of the screen that, that appear and sometimes above the spawns as well. So keep your eyes on them. Lots of good information. You can learn something too, not just enjoy the Counter-Strike. Right now, big. They're relying on these saved guns and the armor behind it, at least for Santara. Searson's just scooting outside NIP. They're sneaking outside. They're going behind these smokes down towards the lower bomb site. But you can see that there's a heavy rotation. Kito is here, and there are two more lines of defense behind him. He is going to get obliterated. Nork with a quick kill on the MAC-10, and they're going to move in. Grenade for Tapson could do some significant damage, but it's about following up on that damage. And with USPs and P250s, it's still going to be quite difficult for Big to get much further than this. Nice grenade. Will there be any result from it? Will there be any follow-up? They do have a few bodies down here in B, and maybe in a more literal sense than they would like. Santarez falling immediately taps in as well. Going to face the same fate. And this round should be nice and clean for NIP. That's exactly what they kind of needed as well. One plant coming on through, and that there is going to be the round decided. Nine on the board for NIP, tying this one up, but the investment looming for big, ready to come in in this follow-up round. That's where things get exciting. That's where we get a real look as to whether or not NIP can, com can complete this comeback and take us to a third. That third obviously being Mirage if we get there. Yeah, so it doesn't really get easier, does it? But uh, we saw NIP go to an overtime game against OG on that map. They had a lot of nice ideas. Nork was very influential with that AWP there as well. In getting them to OT, he certainly slowed down once they hit it, which was a bit of a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a very short pause as Big, unfortunately, is suffering with an internet issue. And this is online CS, so it's kind of essential. So while Big get the PCs back online, we're going to take a look at the teams talking about playing on the internet. Very opinionated, he knows what's going on, and he's been instrumental, not just to, to this NIP's success, but even NIP of old, right? Like back when the coaching rule was different there, he felt so key as to why the old NIP squad was so damn good. Um, so I, I love that he's really getting stuck in right now. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what we want from him. And I think it would look very defeatist if he wasn't saying much here. He's someone who always believes in this team being able to turn things around. And that's what you want from your coach. So here we go. What's he come up with? It's a fast A play and Plopsky does just blindside Keto. Flash from the player back in the site. That was Tizian, but he gets removed. And now we're into this three on four. It's a little bit awkward. Zatares tries to go barreling in. He spots that the bomb is dropped in this A site, but everyone else falls and it leaves CSN all alone, far from home, dropping into CT spawn. NIP finally realizing, you know, how to deal with big in these weird three on four situations, right? They just stop. They know they've lost the bomb, but they've got the site. They've got good positions. And so they just sit back and wait behind the vent and wait for big to come to them. Zantares swings out wide and, and, and dies to the waiting players that he was just not ready for. He, you know, usually if you're a CT there, you should be expecting the T's to be proactive, to be focusing on getting the plant, on dropping utility. And you, a lot of the time you can catch uh, NIP there with nades in hands, but not today. NIP pull the brakes and they are ready for that one. Searson won't escape with the AWP and life now showing again for the ninjas. More gun rounds to follow, not for big though. Back to pistols. And IP going for this outside control. Hampus had a nice little lurk smoke in front of main that let him climb inside of it in the previous round. This time they're going to go for more standard utility and cross towards secret.
Yeah, two players already rotated down for big. Twist is going to wait around here up on top of Hart, and he can try cut down rotations. Drops that smoke as well, and that just kind of uh, obscures the intention of NIP even more in this round, right? You don't have any information outside. They could be crossing heaven. They could be trying to get to hell, but instead it is this B commitment. They've dealt with Tabson. Tarez trying to hold the line, but he can't follow up. And so, yeah, this should just be an NIP 11th on the scoreboard, providing it doesn't go disastrously wrong. And I think it'd be pretty hard pressed for that to happen. Ampus is almost certainly dead here. Almost certainly. May as well try and get away with that AK, right? Save it into the next round. You've got nothing else to lose here if you're big, but the round, and that's almost guaranteed. They've realized they have so much space up at the NIP have got to be all over that B-bomb site. And they lost Zantaris and Tabson down there earlier, so it's no surprise to big. The Deagle players are going to go hunting, looking for kills on the exit, but not going to be allowed easily. Nork finding Tizian, and it's the USP of Searson waiting for exit kills. I like this spot as well as NIP have some close ramp players. They might exit on this side. There could be a chance for Searson to do some damage, get a gun, but no, NIP, they're going to exit together, and that's a smart move. Actually, not even leaving. They hide in the control room. You don't actually take as much damage here, so they will live. We already saw, you know, Flusher running away from the bomb uh, in that Astralis game the other day, and he lived, you know, despite getting off the diffuser like four seconds left. Nice kill with Searson taking down Rez. It's not going to have massive implications in the short term, but it's something that could play into this game when we hit a 30 rounder. Money's there for NIP for the time being, but how much longer will that remain? They've finally taken the lead. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, they're still very much in with this chance. Searson's going to go ahead and hop on up into this CT box for some vision outside. With the smoke's raining in, he's going to be hard-pressed to find very much. NIP, they don't cross anyone behind these smokes. They're trying to divert all the attention towards outside while they actually make a play in towards ramp. And this has worked Ooh. brilliantly. Look, Tapson had rotated away. And now that they haven't really seen much, he takes his position back up here ramp side, but he could get caught with a nade out. They've already crossed and he doesn't realize it's too late for Tapson as he goes down. And now the rest of NIP go downtown as well into this B site, Zantares. Oh, oh what? no, what's going on? So focused on throwing this utility in a big that they just keep getting caught. And, and this, this has fallen apart. That's yeah. a disaster, really. That is not how this round should have gone down whatsoever. That's very unlike Big, right? Tabson, he, he's jiggling. He doesn't think the one player has already crossed out. And by the time he realizes, he tries to jump up to get into position to hold that angle. Well, you know, NIP are already swinging him. And well, I don't know what happened for Tabson there. He was looking to get on top of the rating with a smoke out. So your guess is as good as mine. Might have been trying to drop a smoke on the silo, use it as a one way. Who knows? It won't work. It won't matter. Nice exit from Searson, but that's just going to ring the alarm bells if NIP want to start hunting. They probably shouldn't, honestly. Respect big here. You know, they've got an orb back in T-spawn. Let them have it. You've got the round, and that's what matters most. Up to 12 on this T-side. And NIP, this is, a, this is a recovery. This is happening, okay? We, we can't sleep on them anymore because a lot of rifle rounds going their way, all the ones that matter. And big have only won one round in the second half. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, very unlike Big that round. Very unlike them to be to be caught with the grenades in their hands. And maybe not a mistake we'll see repeated. Yeah, it's not the Big that we're used to. And this little, like, lol from them has given NIP a lot of room to find their confidence again. And that's scary to me, right? Like, you had NIP on the ropes right where you wanted them, really. Like, they were doubting themselves. They were doubting the decisions that were being made. And now they've started to kind of collect their thoughts again. And they're all looking on the same page. It's a little bit worrisome, really. Zantares has now taken up a position at ramp. He's going to drop that nade. But even then, he might be hard-pressed to get away. Searson does come in on rotation. Zantares, good for one but him and Searson both fall. Ramp gets taken once again. And already this, this could very well be a save. That kill maybe now tempts you back in. It's a three on three. You've upgraded this MP9 on Tizian if you would like over towards outside, and they would. So they are going to give this one a go. 
It also opens up a path down secret, right? It, you know, vent scary, ramp you know you've lost. And so getting that one lurk kill outside. Oh dear, let's go down B. The wall bang, it's good damage, it's no kill. Nork still stands and Reds tumbles up in the doorway. No idea how that happens. He's on one health on a 3K and he's gonna close it with four. Massive round for Rez. Look at the recovery of this dude as an individual. There is no doubt on Rez's talent and his skill in the server, but we didn't see anything like it back on Vertigo going 0-14 right now he's 22 and 14 what a recovery story from this guy and if he's going to lead nip to a win on big's map pick sending us to mirage then there's still hope for the swedes after all bigger feeling the pressure harry a pause and look at that scoreboard it's all in the favor of the t side yeah this is this is a little bit wild this is a little too wild for me hugo um I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what's happened. It's and like a, just a. Re I, I do think, as you say, like Rez is playing such a huge part, right? Like Vertigo was four on five for that entire first half of play, and no one can change my mind on that, right? Like Rez was literally 0 and 14. So, um, yeah, him recovering and then an IP getting back to like a full roster has certainly helped. And with Big making a few mistakes when it really feels like it matters so much that they just keep doing what we're used to seeing from them really hasn't helped. This outside area getting contested this time. NIP, they haven't even really done much towards outside. And that's where Big have concentrated a lot of their efforts. And now, finally, we have some outside presence being shown. And this has come at a perfect time because Big, they've adjusted with three players over towards Ramp and Hell to try and deal with these ramp takes that have just been coming through time after time. Yeah, it's been five-man brute forces, or at least four-man brute forces. We usually see Hampus on the lurk. It has been Popsky from time to time, but yes, a very aggressive plays from NIP and good trading as well. Coming through here to Kito, who almost loses his life through the wall. Now, Twist has an angle, but Sisson's pushed up and Zantara's has dropped the orb. This is getting scary. This is getting dangerous, and Twist needs to win this fight to keep this round alive. He's done that at least. Orp dropped back out of the hands of Zantara. It's not a weapon he's known for. And Kito is gone as well. Twist with four in the round. Very important lobby hold from the back of the squeaky door. 14 to 10. This is it. NIP pushing us over the finish line on Big's map pick. One CT round for the German side. And yeah, it's, it's been the constant mind game between ramp and outside, right? Big, oh sorry, NIP, they've, they've thrown outside smokes. They've not always crossed behind them. And that's been affecting those ramp rotates uh, for Big. You think of Zantara's on this map, you think of him on those rafters at the B bomb site, stopping secret plays out the door into B. But NIP have never done that. If they're taking B, they're taking it through ramp. This time it's looking like an A fast though, down the vent. Two players get through, Tapson is so blinded and he is just spraying. I don't know if Big even know how many players are down and how deep they are, but Zantara's needs to patch the wound with the M4. Yeah, getting that kill is crucial. He's dropped the bomb and he's bought big time. Now with the rotation coming down through the vents from Tizian, he can get that kill locked in. Keeps that bomb out of NIP's hands. Hampus and Nork, 2v5. The attempt at the change of pace has not worked out the way they were hoping. Hampus is going to sneak his way in through the vent down towards this B site. While Tizian is waiting, he gets caught looking the wrong way at the wrong time. And this bomb now back under nip control. This is a bit of an error, right? They, they give the bomb over. And this is going to open up a world where this two on four is still a possibility. There's even the chance that, you know, you could have gone back up to that A site. So for big, they've had to keep this defense split up as a result. And now the bomb goes down. NIP trying to do the impossible. Three players for big coming in through ramp and Tabson alone on the secret flank. Hampus hiding in this ramp smoke. He gets spammed. And Searson's oh. gonna find it. Nork now, first kill presents itself. Still, more players coming in. He peeks through the molly. Zantares dropping into the site is gonna send him home. And it's 11 for Big as they do make that retake happen. I actually really like how Big approached that, right? Of course, Tizian is still playing around the bomb, but he gets timed by Hampus's vent drop. But Big, we, we look at them in a lot of those situations across this series, and they've always tried to be suffocating. They've always tried to be aggressive. But, you know, finally, things have started to go the way of NIP. So Big decide, okay, right, we've got the advantage. We know where the bomb is. We know where NIP have to go. So let's just set up for that and play retake. Let's not get caught by lurking players. Let's use our man advantage to our advantage. And so they go in with three on the ramp and they trade effectively and that's all they need. They wanted the round and that's what they get, keeping this one going. And of course, they know that NIP have money anyway off the back of this dominant T side. And so giving away a bomb plant isn't gonna be a fear for big. 
The buys are coming in full force for a few more. And uh, if we get to a point where, you know, big bring this 14-14, NIP are going to have loss bonus. So we've got rifle rounds till the end of this map. By the looks of things, of course, unless big win here, in which case they will be in a rough spot. Or lose here, rather, they'll be in a rough spot. Twist trying to put pressure on the door. Big are just going to smoke it off and leave it lost. Popsky trying to lurk outside. Now, those tags might have been heard. Tapson might be ready for a player up close. He gets flashed back into main safely, giving away the outside control. His team needs to be aware of that, but luckily he just swings back out through the smoke and takes the kill instead. NIP have lost their lurk, and they're going back to what works, these constant ramp takes. Yeah, but this time, Searson's here on that AWP. He nails the first. Centares now here to help him out, and it's damage for Centares wow. to spray down the triple. He does it all. 12 on the board for big. Centares starting to recover he was by far the most quiet man on this big squad while in these last few rounds he has found his footing and ramp has started to look like Zintares domain once again yeah we've never seen Searson able to assist on these ramp plays and that's because like you said earlier big have been very favored to playing outside with that AWP and putting numbers there. When Tapson kills Popsky, considering Popsky's been lurking yard in some of these ramp takes, they make the call, they immediately go, they have to go ramp. If it's not an A take, it's ramp. Outside is clear, and the double setup is exactly what big need. NIP not giving up yet. They're still going fast. I love the pace that NIP is setting. Quick into main, Hampus, oh, he's gonna check if Akito wins the fight. The bomb's been lost, and NIP are just throwing caution to the wind, through the smokes, into the face. Searson, Dropping Rez with the Yorp, saving his teammate on the site. And this round has gone as quick as it can. It's only Nork in a one on four. And now it's all getting exciting again. Nork, he might want to just hold on to this AWP, right? Like, why do you have some loss bonus built up? If you lose this now, you're not going to have it in the follow up. I mean, they could drop one over, but then that leaves them strapped in a, in a variety of other ways in terms of the money. So, yeah, Nork. He's waiting patiently, seeing if they give anything up. But at this point, like big, you know, it's not not the same like comfortable big that we've been used to seeing. Well, they'll gladly hunt down in these situations. Like you do want to be keeping as much as you can going your way and building up this money. Because if you remember when this was 11-14, there was still a chance of a reset looming for big, right? And at that point, that would have been a disaster. You're up against map point, you've got no money. So they need to build up this bank account. 30 seconds left on the clock and Nork, yeah, he is just playing it safe, playing it by the numbers. I'm looking to hold on to this AWP. So 13 for big, getting it down to the wire once again. And this is a good test of NIP. Now they've shown resilience to grind this game back to a doable situation, but now they have to show that they've got that X factor Ooh. and can get it over the line. Uh -oh. Nork takes away one of these guns, but they are hounding him down. They are hunting. Nork Ooh. trying to stay alive, back in with another peek. Doesn't need to keep taking them and he will get taken down. Not after time by the looks of things. Yeah, I mean, going in for the last peak, you know, again, he didn't know Tapson was that deep, but he could have definitely, after, after taking two, he could have definitely tucked and just lived with the orb. So, you know, always, always a question mark. At least when it doesn't work, right? There's a world he hits the shot and we're fine. And, and suddenly that's a massive few kills taking guns away from big. He still has, right? He's still left big with only two players surviving. I imagine they picked up an orb and an AK there. So yeah, there is economic loss, but it goes both ways. And right now, NIP, despite having the lead, are not in the most comfortable position. Three in a row for big, they're finding solutions. The lurk outside is getting countered every time. The ramp plays have been stacked by big. A fast day in the previous for NIP finds nothing. Where do you even go from here? I'd love to see that, that outside control once again, right? I feel like Big's going to be expecting it at this point, but go back for the smokes, regardless of how many players you move behind them. They won't have the money. They're giving Big 14, playing for the th full 30, as they probably should. And so NIP, with one hero AK on res, the hero of this map for them, he's holding on in the lobby. Oh, nice. Twist has gotten down through the vent. He hasn't been discreet about it, though. So that's Antares already rotating down to try and uh, try and contain any B aggression. But the ramp play is going to come through. And this time, Searson doesn't have Centares to help out. So he's got to nail this shot and then fall off the angle. Nice. They bait the peak. Searson going for Hampus, allows the AK to tag him up. And now ramp has been taken by NIP. 
But they're not looking to commit to this. They actually back away and start to worm their way back towards uh -oh. lobby. Twist caught by Tabson. Down goes Tizian in the hut. An A play maybe on the cards, but are they ready for Kito who swings at the vent? Only good for one. Nork follows up and oh dearie me. Big, this should have been 14. They were only up against pistols, but now the bomb getting planted in this upper site. Weaponry retrieved for NIP. And Zantares getting flashed in through heaven is the only hope. This flash has to do absolutely everything. In it goes, Zantares peeking. That's the damage, but not the killing blow. And so NIP, map point gained 15 to 13. And big, they need two in a row to take us to OT. That was such a good call from Hampus, man. That was so smart. I mean, everything goes in their favor, right? Not just the fact that Searson gets dinked and misses his shot, putting him out for the round. But after they get that control, after they force big on those B rotates, not only Zantaras, who they don't see on ramp, they know he has to be lower, but also another player, um, when Twist dies, he gets shot in the back from a secret rotate from outside. So NIP with that info go, okay, they have a heavy B setup. Let's go back through the lobby. They're scared of ramp, we dinked the ramp player back, and we can take A. Even catching Zantaris, or Tapson rather, coming up the vent like that as well, just everything going in the favor of NIP. Zantaris had to basically one on three into that A site to win the round, it's not gonna happen. NIP on an eco with a hero AK on res have saved their bacon and maybe their tournament life. 15 to 13, not out the woods yet, but they've at least found map point. Looking to bring us to Mirage. Searson, he's gone aggressive. Very, very good in this position with the AWP. And not, not something he's done before. They're not ready for it. Nade out. Propsky's gone. Searson doesn't realize they're wrapping his right side. But Kito has the cover only temporarily. Rez from above lays down the fire and quickly back into a three on four. And now NIP fall a little more silent. They've dealt with the AWP outside and that's gonna give them free passage into secret should they want it. Garage is an unknown entity though and Tapson is waiting patiently here. Gets delivered that kill on a silver platter. And so now Rez and Twist. Uh -oh. Rez might get blindsided. Keto in with another, and that's the bomb dropped. 14 looking inevitable, unless Twist can put a stop to this here and now. Molotov to force a man back out of secret. That's Keto having to make a hasty retreat. Zantares. Spotting Twist on the cross. They know this bomb is needed. He's gonna go try and retrieve that. Keto has fallen all the way back into B. Question now is where does Twist wanna end this play? Wrapping him outside is a man going by the name of Tizian and he can have this round dead to rights. And Tarez jiggle peeking heaven and Twist not looking the right way. He just gets by, just catches the timing into this A site now and Zantarez still up in heaven, still unknowing by Twist. And he should have this round dead to rights. There's the peak, Zantarez locking in 14 for big. One away from OT, Ooh. this game either keeps on going or we end up on Mirage. You can see how big are, are realizing the error of some of the previous rounds, right? Of playing aggressive in these XV1 situations as you could uh, put them, Harry, right? Not wanting to throw away the rounds, playing very safe. Keto, he gets the kill in, in secret. He drops all the way to the B bomb site. Zantaras is covering A and Tizian is that one lurk player, clearing out positions, getting info. He doesn't figure out where that last player is, but he figures out where he's not and yeah, Twist has to run eventually as the time gets lower and lower. 15 to 14. This is a game of mind games right now with double backs, with fakes, with heavy ramp control. We're getting it all on Nuke. But where will this leave us? Fast out the door. NIP, they want to end it on A. And they're going to try and run down Tizzy and anchoring the site behind the silo. It's looking like Big might want to pull this to even more rounds. The orb hitting a shot, but not the killing blow. And Rez, the hero here of NIP, has to save them once again in a one on four. It's just not going to happen. We're going to overtime. Well, that's all from this one right now. There's an OT still on the cards. There's still even more to come, but we're gonna throw this one over to a quick break and then we'll be back to bring you even more nuke. Hey, NIP, they take seven out of a possible eight rounds to begin it. And now we find ourselves here with Big making the recovery happen and already out of the gate, it's gonna be Tizian opening this one up with a kill onto Hampus. So NIP, they try and go fast, oh. and that might still be the intent with Twist getting that trade. Tabson finding damage in through that smoke. But there's oh. the response from Nork, caught with a nade out, and into a three on four big. This good situation has suddenly flipped against them. 
Searson taking up the position of his fallen teammates, looking for these trades into lobby. And he might spot the barrel if he was just a little bit wider. He would see there's Rez in through main, being a pain, follow up on Zikito. And it's all left onto Zintarez in a 1v4. Oh dear, caught jumping through the air as well, trying to hit his head on the roof to bounce back. But it's NIP who are bouncing back. May have found the two last rounds of regulation for big, but NIP not going down without a fight. And this T-side has been excellent, right? On both sides. Obviously, that's how we're here with nine round T-sides on either team. But yeah, starting off here for NIP, if they can find a clean three, they are setting themselves up for a victory. And a, a final map on Mirage as well. Those odds looking good for big in the series. But right now in this map, things are looking scary indeed. More utility into A quick. I love the pace that NIP is setting and they're gonna put Hampus right down the vent. Tapson's glaving it behind the smoke outside. Plopsky is on his typical lurk here behind red. It's just all over the place. NIP being proactive on every section of the map. Twist looking for a ramp pick as that smoke begins to fade. Hampus is still hanging around lower as well. You can notice he's not actually doing anything B. He's waiting for Zantaras' rotation, which has been pretty consistent down towards lower. And NIP are trying to force that rotation by putting outside smokes. Unluckily for them, Tapson's about to realize exactly what's going on. Oh no, maybe he's not. Getting blindsided, getting checked, and that might force Zantaras down into the waiting arms of Hampus. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, Hampus gets the info, but Tarez goes back and oh, oh, he holds on to ramp with a double. Now into this two on three. Plopsky at least keeps NIP in the advantage. Tizian and Searson on for the retake. They've got to try and come in through ramp, the area they lost earlier in the round. Smokes and mollies down. So for the time being, their advance is halted. Searson along with Tizian. They've got to try and do the impossible big. They don't want to have the first two and OT slip away, especially not after grinding so hard to get here. Nork holding for the peak. Molly just missing its mark. So he's still a threat, still a nuisance. And he does deal with the AWP on the other side. Tizian wow. falling after an NIP 17 on the board. Such a shame about outside man. Maybe that's why they call him Alt Tabson because he's not even in the server as that push comes on in. I love the call from Hampus though. Some of these rounds have been so excellently crafted with misdirection, with, with baiting big into rotations. Even though Zantaris doesn't fully fall for it, right? He's been burned before on that ramp rotate when, when he loses, when he goes down towards B and NIP use ramp to, to fake out a B play and head A. This time he doubles back. He almost walks into Hampus and even though he gets two kills, They'd already lost the B site. Hampus jumps out through the window and they're able to get the bomb plant. So, yes, yeah, some really well called rounds for NIP. And Popsky finding the crucial lurk kill. Popsky's been good, but I feel like when he has been lurking outside, it's been 50 50. Like he either dies immediately by Tapson, and, and, and then Big have all the info that, yeah, okay, it's just a lurker, it's just one player, or he gets the opening kill. And because of Tapson's position, because he's waiting in the smoke, maybe you think he's more covered than he is. Him dying to Plopsky doesn't guarantee the fact that it's just a luck. You don't know if there are more players behind him. And so Big is scrambling for information. Two rounds in a row for NIP and the pause before the third, making sure everyone is on the same page. And yeah, Big, oh, we've had a drop. We might have a reconnect here. So maybe a quick pause. Nothing cool, so it might just be a HUD thing, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, they're actually back in, so it's all under control. NIP back-to-back -back tax. Yeah, I noticed that, I think it actually was Tapson to drop out, so I wonder if that's why the, the outside fight goes down the way it does. Um, uh, you know, the, you see a lot of players do that where they hide behind red and then they try and like swing when they hear footsteps, or, you know, if you're in the smoke, you wait till the players pass you and then you pop out, but yeah, I mean, I, we can only assume because uh, Tapson, he was not in the smoke at all. Like, yeah, no, it, it, it was slightest. Tapson who dropped out. So oh, I okay. think that's why that goes down the way that it yeah. does. A uh, bit of a shame, the damage had already been done. But here we go, we got the fan cams going on. These guys have a more reliable connection to the server than Big do. <laughs> and look at this. They're actually excited for a change. It was getting kind of depressing seeing the NIP guys just sat there like, oh, is this really the team that we're supporting right now after that Vertigo performance? Yeah. But now here on Nuke, they are in full force. It's back-to-back -back tack timeouts for NIP. Three. Really wanting to get their money's worth out of this. They've used three in a row. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Like that's crazy. Yeah, that's, co that's confirmed. So wow, NIP. Whatever this game plan is for the last round of, of OT, of T-side OT, it better be the most well-orchestrated strategy I've ever seen.
Thresh has been on a monologue, right? Like giving like, uh, guys, we are five fingers of one hand. And also I am the toe on this foot and we're going to kick this game off. To, I don't know, man. I don't know what he's saying. He's maybe not as poetic. Maybe you need uh, to, yeah, maybe you should get rid of Momo, get you on uh, on Coach for Liquid. That was a motivating speech, Harry. I'm inspired. I... Let's see. Well, Why Frankie, you, you know, like, because, you know, like hands and feet, they're all part of the one body and they are a body on NIP, right? One mind, hive mind, back into the server we go. Searson creeping in through heart. Ooh, Ooh, collateral with the AWP, but not quite the killing blow to Hampus. He catches a bit of shrapnel and that there is his cue to vacate the area. Big, they're looking to pick up the last round of this first half of OT. Sat now in a five on four. Last time we saw them get that man advantage, NIP was swift with the response, but this time there is no such grace going their way. And Searson immediately repositioning. I love this from him. He takes that shot aggressive in Hut. You think you know where he is, but then guess again. It's not where's Waldo, it's where's Searson. Flashes in, Plopsky through this smoke, gets up close to Tabson, but Tabson wins it out. And this now leaves NIP, the walking wounded in a three on five. Tabson just survives as well. Rez peeking from the top of a roof and Hampus is low with the AWP outside playing Bogdan. Oh, it's a messy spray. Rez is going to get the better of Tabson and still big sit a man up. Searson yet to be dealt with down in secret. He's fallen back further past it, but this is not ending on B by the looks of things. Rez, if he wants, can wrap heaven or just play towards that main position. He's looking for something. He's looking for anyone coming off of that ramp rotate, but Zantaris is nowhere to be seen. He's pushed lobby, and that's a very aggressive move from Zantaris. Typically, uh, want to drop B before he does this, but I think Big know exactly what's up. They've got a really heavy A site setup. It's all on this lurk from Rez. It's all on the heaven control, and Sears is coming out. He's got the info, but he's not got the shot. Hampus wins a duel with 14 points of health, and now 14 seconds for the plant. Heavy A site setup. They need the kills. Hampus gets traded. That's the bomb dropped in the open, and Rez needs a one on two with five seconds to spare it's not happening big ready for that a side take we'll find one on their ct side and that t side here is something quite special indeed right so this is what you're hoping big i've still got some legs on them yet right nip winning the first two in overtime big finally coming in with a response once they have all five in the server taps and out for revenge over here outside a nice try from hampus and co but not enough to get a flawless ot and this keeps things competitive moving into the second half now. Let's not forget, for those of you who are just tuning in, bigger 1-0 up in this series after a dominant victory back on Vertigo, the map pick of NIP. Now they want to do everything oh. they can to stay in that driver's seat and send the Swedes home. Zantares opening up with a kill on to Hampus. Follow-up damage from Tizian, and he Ooh, knows that yeah. he's got a man trapped. Rez bought down low, forced into the hidey hole of the vents. Not posted up aggro in heart and Keto gets dealt dropping in through secret there. They do find him. That's throwing a bit of a question mark as to where this play looks to end up, but it is still this A bomb site, the object of Big's desires. Nork, oh, the timing oh couldn't be worse. He's just looked away, and there's the wrap from Tizian. Plopsky up in heaven, good for one. There's the follow up, and he's made this round doable, but him and Rez are both so damn low. The odds are stacked against them now. That nade doing good damage. Maybe enough to allow Rez to come in through this hot wrap and deal the damage needed to make this round possible. Plopsky making noise, trying to draw the attention away, trying to give the illusion that this is where the second man is for NIP. And Tizian nice. gets blindsided. Tabson now, CT vet needs this round. There oh. it is, they line up for Tabson and he gets a 17th on the board for Big. They're not ready to give this game up just yet. That was going so well for NIP as well. You put it perfectly, Plopsky being pushed out of heaven by the Molotov. He makes noise, he baits Big in. They're constantly looking at heaven both those players after they get that kill uh taps and somehow some way still mows them down from the back of ct ven what an excellent clutch and big they keep things going another overtime is still on the line or is it going to be a win right here first to 19 two chances to do it Hampers pushing outside. We've got Big back in the lobby with lots of numbers as well. They may have thrown these outside smokes, but Hampers has confirmed it's all a fake. It's all a ruse, and therefore no lower rotates here for NIP. They're ready for the A play, but are they ready enough? It's fast and furious. Big are already out in the site. Tizian with a kill through the door as Rez spams. Keto drops Popsky, and he catches another as he falls on in. Big have just absolutely swept this A site clean open, and NIP 
nothing to do but cower away. This is a lost round unless Big completely throw it away in the post plant and there's no reason for them to do it. They're already hunting exits. They've got a player trapped in the spawn. Oh dear. Twist is trying to stay alive, but look at this. They are hunting him down. This is scary for Twist now. He wants to hold on to the orb, but piece by piece, oh, getting more lower and lower. Hampus, now they know where he is as well, and they get the clean sweep. 18 for big match, series point, and elimination on the line for NIP, unless they can get us to another overtime here on Nuke. Luckily, you know, it's 16K, so right, it, the save doesn't really make that much difference, right? It's just the difference between maybe some head armor, some grenades, a couple of kids, but, you know, at the end of the day, it was a lost round nonetheless, and I this, knew it. This from Keto is so key. He goes out with the flashes initially, as has all that confusion in the site, and he realizes how deep he's got, so he just bides his time and gets two kills from that forward position. That's something NIP cannot afford to have happening at such a, such a critical juncture in this game. Now it's big stood on the finish line. What a flip of this script. And into lobby they go. Big, they've thrown the outside smokes again. And once more, Hampus has got the information that nobody is here. Yeah, that seems to not be saving NIP in any regard, right? This is just standard, Big throwing these smokes and, and NIP come to expect uh, the hit elsewhere. It's gonna be towards ramp. Rez has taken first blood in the meanwhile up on that A site into squeaky door against Tizian. Ramp is conceded. The AWP is in CT towards Hell, so can at least stop Big from wrapping the Heaven position, or at least try to do so. It's holding off. Big are going to move down towards B. Double rotate for NIP. They know they don't need to care about a secret lurk from outside, thanks to Hamper. So he's actually coming on to join his team as well. Drawing in their attention. There's no way they'll be ready for Twist. Hampus, if he gets one kill, his job is done. And Twist can just begin to save the round for NIP. That's not good, though. Twist is going to drop the bomb. Now he's cornered. Keto with the trade. It's a three on three and big own B. It all comes down to this. Do we have another overtime or the big end NIP's cologne dreams right here, right now? Plopsky trying to catch Zantara as the Molotov gives up the aim of the game and Keto's followed up on two as well. It all falls onto Searson with this orb. This man has given us so many big performances and now would be the time Ooh. for it. But Rez shuts him down and we're running it back again. 18 to 18. I heard you all miss Counter-Strike. Well, here it is. I, I wouldn't want anything else, Harry. Two T sides per team on overtime, keeping up the uh, appearance, keeping up the occasion that was regulation. And uh, now we go for 22. That's the first for, well, a first place in this series, at least for big, looking to knock out NIP, as you say. Nork's back on the Orb. So is Searson. This battle has been so entertaining between the two. Even if we've not seen too much of a head-to-head, -head, both of them have been very explosive in this game. Rez is over 30 kills right now as well. The only player on the server to be there. Big. They're going back outside. This time they are going to put players behind these smokes. And so Hampus needs that info. He's going to pop flash himself out. That's a great bit of utility. But Keto is going to be there to trade immediately after. Legged by the orb from hell. He will still cross down towards B. Yeah, he's looking a little worse for wear though. And this could be a nice easy kill for Rez. Indeed it is, so Keto gets dealt with. That lower lurk that Big were relying on, kind of forcing, oh no, Zantares. They didn't realize, what? Popsky, he's got his headphones unplugged. Nort comes in with another though in the meantime, and that's the bomb dropped out from Hut. Rez up through secret has dealt with Zantares and Searson falls, so thankfully, it's all kept under control for NIP, but just about 19. Of course, we're looking for the first to 22 now. This being the second overtime on Nuke. Big, they're going to be kicking themselves. They they were in a good spot yeah. there to find something right, but they can't get past the AWP in that A site. The bomb gets dropped. The pincer comes in from Rez, who's very, very confident, just charging up secret. Makes a big play in that one, getting himself two. Back to the drawing board for Big. Back up on the silo for Sears, and he didn't see Nork. He was flashed out by high utility. So NIP have this orc very deep outside, and again have that info that has really just been saving their bacon. Oh dear, Searson's double scope. Nork's having a look. He's moving away from red, and I think he's ready for this fight. If Searson stands up or tries to move, he will be dead. It's a stalemate, neither knowing the other's position, though. Well, this would be a very different battle indeed. It would probably be already over. 
Now, keep in mind, Nork is not alone out here for long. There's a move going on outside. Taps him with the bomb. Santari's up on the roof, and there's the bomb dropped. Rez has also found first blood. He's been so good at those opening kills, but Searson will close one of his own. He catches Nork, leaving Red. Oh, dear. They know. Rez has seen Tizian, but it doesn't matter. The info isn't enough. Tizian gets that kill. Smoking, trying to push through it, and Plopsky times that to perfection, keeping NIP a man up. Big have loved main to A, and they're going to go back for it, but this time there's a spanner in the works. A man in the lobby behind enemy lines. Hampus lets them cross through. Propsky tries to get the info. Hampus has dropped the bomb, and that's another round for NIP. That could be everything. This has been a T-sided game. Nine rounds per on regulation, two in T on OT, and now NIP find back-to-back -back rounds on the CT side. Is this going to be big faltering at the final hurdle? IP, they're just seeming like they're thriving in the chaos of this overtime where it's big. They, they don't look like they can cut it right now. Really struggling over on this T side in the second overtime. Back to outside, but they haven't had the best history with this position. This time, though, there's no aggression from NIP outside. They've really tapered that off. Outside smoke's going to get thrown in now. Nork clearing the lobby. Wrapping in. Tizian is at ramp, so that could be a bit of a vulnerability as he waits in this smoke. The rest of the gang moving by outside. They could look to split into this B site. Garage smoke down. Deep smoke for main as well. Tabson oh deleting Hampus back in garage. Rez now trying to take up a position through the tiny little gap in this smoke. What's he going to see? Rez. Fog on the goggles. What's he able to spot? Nothing through that smoke. And so they get by. They get down to secret. And this could be a bit of misinformation for NIP. Rez was holding that whole time and he didn't see anyone. It's not uncommon for Big to not cross with these smokes. But they have rotated players down. Plotsky getting there just in the nick of time. Dodges these players crossing into the site. Twist already here. Locked and loaded. Helped out by Plopsky. And this round gets shut down. Keto. Oh, he's given them a chance. Res up on the rafters, though. Has kept it all in favor of NIP. But just briefly, Tizian 1v1 Ooh. versus Nork. Oh. Caught looking the wrong way. 21 for NIP as they go flawless on the CT side. Yeah, that lurk was too late. And it's not it's not Tizian's fault, but it's Biggs rushing into the B bomb site. I think that they assumed they had more control than they did. Not only Plopsky coming down that vent off the back of, you know, Rez leaving outside, but also Twist already having rotated down lower, plus the ramp player. I mean, that's just so unfortunate for Big. They speeded up when they could have relied on the lurk in the lobby. If Tizian comes in a few seconds earlier after Twisted rotated, he could have easily shot NIP in the back of the head, but a flawless CT side could be putting Nip on Mirage. Got to see if they can take it over the line. Sometimes that final round is the hardest part. Big back on the CT side, back a fresh face. AWP taps and looking into the wall, avoiding the utility, and Searson with a cross shot spots the bomb, get down lower. Now, is that a commitment is the question here for Big, because only one player down B with the bomb. They need to clear the rest of yard. The flash is good. Tapson gets one. It's traded. Keto's in the same position. They might not be ready for this. They're behind the red box, boosting up the AWP. No rush for Big. They're a man up. They can slow it down. Right now, they know they've got that bomb trapped down lower, and that's a problem that NIP are going to have to address the longer this round goes on. This whole round comes down to saving Private Plopsky, who's behind enemy lines. Searson, another kill as he nails Hampus on the cross. Hampus there was the sacrificial lamb to let Nork get by. Santarez spots the bomb, now knows that it's still here down towards B. Up on the raft is Spamis, oh is Molotov really oh served to complicate matters. Nork trying to get the spam off, but not able to find it. And now a 1v4 required from this AWP. Certainly not an easy task. Rotation coming in from Tizzy and in through secret. 25 seconds for Nork to play around with here. Not a lot of time. Ooh, yeah. And Keto pressuring him. Picks up a 19th for big. Yeah, good call for Big to disengage right after Tabson gets that flash outside and spots at least two players trading one for one. That puts Big a man up, and you can see how keen Keto is to go back in for fights, but he doesn't decide to commit. And that is the that that is the key, right? If you give away another trade, another kill to NIP, that's where this entire map could fall through your fingers. 
Big have been make, uh, making the right calls on disengaging on this CT side, especially in the latter half of this game. But NIP, two more chances to push us over the line. Oh, Zantaris, he jumps, he hits the curb. Will that delay him? Not enough. Propsky doesn't see him cross the secret. And this is a very fast cross despite that hiccup. So this could be a quick and free kill for Zantaris. That's exactly what happens. Now the heavy ramp play. This was Nip's bread and butter in regulation with four. But after losing secret, they want to look elsewhere. They don't want to drop down towards B. And maybe rightly so, with Searson poised there with the orb. There's still two players on this top site, though. Tizzy can see the feet before they can find him. Oh, dear. He might be caught with an aid in hand. They're moving forward. He's going to get the spray. Two, three from Tizzy. And it's only Twist left alone looking to clutch in a one on five. This should be impossible for Twist. And Tarez tagging him off and bringing him down. 20 for big. One away from a third overtime here on Nuke. Neither one of these teams having a problem with getting to match and series point. But both teams having a problem getting it over the finish line when they get there. That could have been everything, right? Tizian moving away to throw that door smoke. If anything, it saves his life, I guess. It gets him in position to find three kills uh, big. This game just keeps on giving. NIP, what have you got for us in what could be the final round of this map or the start of many more? Back to Yard. They need to be careful of this cross. It's not come through this time. Big, very passive outside control for a change. Not even taps and supporting. He's typically been close to red. Instead, he's holding onto A uh, to deny a faster rush from NIP. Keto, smart decision. Realizes here's the call. They could be down. We don't know. It's only Popsky on the lurk. NIP, they wanted ramp last round. It didn't work for them after they lost their secret player. But now that they've got one, they've got the pressure to push ramps. And Torres caught with a nade in hand. And Hamper swings out wide. Searson misses his shot and this could all fall apart. Cracks are starting to show now big. It's all or nothing. They fought hard to get to this point, but we just might end up on Mirage. They're four on five. Rotations coming in for the retake at B. Plopsky still lost in secret. Spam oh. Oh, doing damage for Keto, but not going to find the kill. Plopsky oh. on Tabson, and Tabson wins that fight, but it's still the advantage lying with NIP. Tizian, another kill. Uh -oh. They're trying to get us to another overtime, and we could still get there. Tizzy, another. Oh, he's looking for one more. It all falls on Therese. 1v2, trying to keep NIP's tournament life alive. They tap the bomb. They hope it baits the peak, and it does, but Tabson nails the shot. It's close, but big. They've got it. It's another overtime. My word. Three now on Nuke. The game that keeps on giving. And it's going to keep on giving after a quick break. So don't you go anywhere. My word. Still giving us action here on Nuke. We're an hour and a half in, and it still rages on. Searson outside with the AWP tries Ooh. to get aggressive, and Plopsky's going to best him in the head to head. So now into this four on five. It's big. Desperately trying to keep a hold outside on the back of losing their AWP. Oh and Leon taps them with the spray, finding a lot of damage. But NIP are not deterred. They creep, they crawl, and they keep it as their little secret. When your back's up against the wall, that's when you really see what a team has to offer. NIP, they don't want to get eliminated here on day three of Cologne. They may have got slapped on their map pick, but putting up one hell of a fight here on Nuke. This is a dominant T-side game with nine rounds in regulation per two on the T-side of OT, and then two flawless CT sides in the second. We're into third OT, and NIP are running the board. Every kill going their way, and Zantara is stuck in a one on five. This one's looking done. Surely not. A double P coming through the door, and NIP find the first in OT3. It's not over till the big lady sings, though, Hugo. That's what they say, right? And uh, she's just getting warmed up right now. So 22 rounds for an IP. That's a start. But as we've seen, it doesn't really matter till you hit that second half of OT. Still, they're building up once again. It's a strong beginning from Nip. And that attempt at the outside aggression, well, it really didn't pan out for big. We might see that taper off now. And it's that kind of, you know, having to having to move away from this signature, like calculated aggression that makes Big so threatening that could hurt them on this CT side. Once again, a fast outside round from NIP. They cross Plopsky in towards Secret. Twist tries to get down the vent, but this time gets caught by Keto. And so Tabson posted up at this lower site. Has Zantares moving in to join him from ramp. 
Will they be aware just how many players reside on the other side of this smoke? All four remaining fellas for NIP, primed and ready to go. At this point, you have to expect the unexpected. No position is clear, no sight is unstacked, and Tabson has to hold his own. He can't even get damage off Rez. Immediate double entry, NIP doing it again. They may have had flawless CT side, but now it's a flawless T side by the looks of things. A retake on for Big. Searson with the flick, it's not gonna connect. Tizian's coming through the door. No one's watching this. The audio gets heard, and Hampers gets shot in the back. Tizian buying time, still waiting on Keto, a long way from home with Searson on the ramp, throwing utility and trapping Popsky at the back of the site. They have no Molotovs to clear him out. Searson's even been banged out of the round by the Orb of Nork, and he looks to hold on to the bomb. This Molotov's devastating. It didn't burn out Plopsky, so they had to go clear it manually. And as a result, the round just falls apart. NIP, another 23 to 21. Big, they're going to be kicking themselves. It feels like they need one here at the end of the first half of the second over, sorry, third overtime on the second map in this series. Oh, it's a mouthful indeed. Big bringing out the big guns. It's Searson back on that orb, but he's gone a little bit quiet here, it feels like. I need to see more from him because so often he is the difference maker for Big. It's crazy how fast NIP have sped up. Every OT we've done, we've gotten faster and faster rounds, and that's really keeping Big on their toes. They're not ready for the immediate engagements, the immediate executes. Zantaris has to drop so quickly. 139, they're already down into B. Zantaris with an opening kill. He's buying time. He's cut off one side of the ramp room, but that molly is only going to last a few Few seconds and NIP can split him. He has to pick wisely. Taps and covering his left side. They're swapping. Communication is key. The orb gets spotted and Big don't need to rush these gunfights. They have a huge advantage, like you said, needing at least one round in this CT side. Tabson digging their grave deeper. Hampers with the Molotov, but Tabson's already moved out of this position. They're only exposed to the left side. Double fighting. Tabson shutting it down with Zantares, and Big will at least salvage one on their CT side. And Tabson, the grave digger, going against the old fanatic mantra that every grave digger dies. He doesn't. He holds on to that B bomb site right till the very end. And that's going to give Big one round here, moving into the second half of OT. And IP, they keep getting off to good starts yeah. and then they come <laughs> back in with the response. Is that how this is set to continue? Who knows? I don't think Big even know. I don't think NIP have a clue. You just have to take the punches as they get handed to you. A leg! Hampus is in the garage. He is nowhere near, but just got shot from the squeaky door down to 40. Oh my. What is going on, Big? They're going to go for this yard control. They have tabs and very deep behind red. Those late smokes landing. No one here to stop them here from NIP. What are the B rotates like, right? That's the question. How many do you throw at the problem? Because it could still be a fake. And notice that bomb isn't following Tabson as he tries to sell this rotation. Two players down lower. One of them being ramp. He can still jiggle between both sides. Nork with the AWP. If he hits a shot here, that will only confirm this is an A play. And now NIP are ready for a Hampus. He may be low, but they're not going to check him. And he gets one for the back line, doubling down. And this is a perfect round for NIP. They seem to have done it again, match point, or map point rather, as they look to take us to Mirage. We, we could have more Counter-Strike in this series. And I'm not just talking OTs, a whole nother map around the corner. NIP are one round away from it. Oh, and Threat said, you know, the reason for removing Lecro was hoping to play the long game. I didn't think this is what he had in mind with the long game, right? This is a very long game. 24 for NIP, and they need one more to lock in Mirage as that third and final map. Big head in their hands. They need to try and keep the dream alive here and run it back again. Hampus playing close to the outside smoke. He tries to go through, but that proves to be his demise. Man advantage now for Big. Nork testing the waters with some lobby aggression. Now Tizian is here. This man, basically a bellhop. He is the king of lobby. And he's not looking and meet and greet them. Instead, it's silence right now. Flash out, Tizian rounding the corner. Is he ready for res? No, he's not. He goes down, back into this four on four. Keto down at the B bomb site. Gaining some ground, but the rest of Big not behind him. That smoke is going to give them safe passage into secret. They leave Searson outside momentarily with this AWP, but he's going to get across and join the rest of the team. Big all over B. NIP had so much success at this bomb site. 
RB gonna have the same because they desperately need it. Twist wow. removing Keto. Man advantage for Nip here with map point on the line. They're trying to take us to Mirage and Big have got to do everything they can to keep the dream of another overtime alive. NIP taking their sweet time. They've got four from the same exit. That Molotov is going to cut them off into one choke point. They could smoke it, but at this point, it's better to wait it out. That time ticking in the favor of Big. Searson in the window is smoked off. Does he have a gap? Does he have an angle? Because he needs to assist his teams. And Taras with a tap swings out for a second. It's all on Searson. This is for the map. This is for the game. And he's waiting in the window. They have no idea. The smoke phase, a missed oh! shot. He gets the kill. Oh! He gets them off the bomb. The pistol's out. The P250 might just save Big once again. And he's done what? it all on his own. Four kills, 23 rounds. Let's keep this game going. Oh. Searson, it goes from the biggest of misses to the best of successes. How on earth has he done it? Another round for big. And the game keeps on going. One more <laughs> round between another overtime and a third map. It looks so bad, but then takes them all out. What? My mind is blowing. I cannot believe. That bomb was almost defused. That bomb was almost gone despite the other players that weren't offering cover. He just one taps the low HP player through the smoke. This is still not done. Nip can still close this map or Big can start the clock for a fourth time. We thought OG Nip went to enough OTs. Well, boy, this one is making that look like a fast game. Big. Creeping outside, crawling behind red. Hampus is in the garage. He, he has wrecked them from this position before, but they are very attuned to it. They have got their eyes. He cannot swing. He can only deny the main control. If there's no garage smoke, Tapson has to take this fight and put his back up to the A site. It's a real risk. It's a real gamble. The smoke's going to come through from Tizzy and they wrap it. They don't check it. Oh dear, Keto's going to cover. Despite Tapson taking damage and Keto with a ding, Bigger found two opening kills into A. We need a hero, and there's not going to be one. Big, another overtime locked in. 24 to 24, 48 rounds <laughs> in to this nuke game. Oh boy, oh boy. We're running it back again. This time big on the T side. And I, you guys know the drill by now, right? <laughs> they got IP, yeah, they got some guns. Big have got some guns too. But it's what are they going to do with those guns that makes all the difference? I will say this epitomizes why we love 16K MR3, right? No ecos, no saves. Every round is do or die. Every round is everything you need. We've got the orps out, even the P250 saving the day. And here we go, NIP back outside, aggressive. Hampers, he's caught a great timing. No one has seen him in this position. Tucked in the corner means he probably won't be able to stop them crossing red, but he will be able to shoot them in the side of the head. Two players, there they go, tumbling down, and Keto's gonna trade, but NIP have started off this round to perfection. Tizian gets down the vent, and Zatares is still here. He's got Rez trapped behind red. And Tizian's got this kill dead to right. Ooh, Tizian. Ooh. Ooh, tricky individual. He does snipe that one away. Now Twist with the repeak. Spots Tizian. They've got him trapped. The bomb going to get retrieved by Zentares. Tizian, another kill, bringing it into the realm of a two-on-two, -two, but quickly taken away. And NIP, 25 to their name. Think about how this regulation game went right. Think about how many A attacks we had, how many five-man ramp pushes, especially from NIP on the T side. This, this OT, or these OTs, have just turned into 5v5 outside. Right there, NIP in the three-on-three, -three, or three-on-two, put all of their players in the yard. They just know what to expect at this point. These rounds are going by so quickly. And NIP once again in the lead, but if you've been watching closely, you'll know that means absolutely nothing. Apus runs the gauntlet, gets into secret. <laughs> okay, let's, ooh, let's calm down for a minute. And then let's ramp it right back up again. Big setting up over here towards outside. Players back in lobby, still with this utility ready to rain into A. And Hampus has been spotted. Oh, he saved himself with that preemptive smoke grenade. But for how long? Is it delaying the inevitable? Oh. Does oh. get found by Keto. Man advantage taken. And finally, it's that pesky little Hampus that they've dealt with over here in secret. He's been such a nuisance to Big. And with him out of the way, what else is possible in this round now? Rez holding down here at B with Twist alongside him, and they make quick work of Keto and Tabson. So while this was a five on four, now it's a three on four in the blink of an eye. Zantares in through main. There's a player in the vent ready to come out 
to help Plopski if needed, but he never gets to play into the round. Rez tries oh. to time it, but Tizian's too quick. There's Nork with another, and we're into a two on two. Oh, twist in main. He looks like he wants to go through. What? He's through the smoke, oh. and he gets one, but Centares trades it out, dropping down himself, and now Nork in the 1v1, trading out onto the AK. Centares, here's the rotation. He's off the bomb. He's taking the fight, oh. and he's going to win it. 25 for Big as they make the 1v1 go their way. That was such an excellent call for Big, despite getting destroyed down in secret with their two cross players. That was all the info they need. They see Twist, they see Rez, they know it's a lower play, they know NIP have had heavy rotations, and they set up what was a plan from the get-go. Molotov in heaven forces Nork out, smoke in May, and, and A execute. They even cancel the plant to try and run towards the vent. It almost cost them the round, but there we go. Now, do you remember, Harry? I think it was the first overtime. Nip used three tactics pauses in a row. I bet they're regretting that one right now because no pauses left and more Counter-Strike to be played. This is never going to end. Fast into main for Zantares. No cover from the outside. Hampus wasn't pushed and now he's going to get pushed. Sprays them down, but only good for one. Taps uh -oh. them doubling up. Uh -oh. Twist in the smoke. Body blocking. They've walked right past him, but I think they've realized oh, oh. Searson shooting him in the back of the head. This pistol is just as viable as his rifle and Rez is now left in a 1v4. 43 kills kills to his name. Yeah, but surely this, surely this is undoable. He does deal with Tabson, but now they know where he is. He's rung that dinner bell and boy is Keto hungry. 26 for Big and 25 for NIP. Now it gets a bit tricky when you get to this many overtimes. We're looking for 28 rounds to secure the victory here on Noob. That puts Big two away from that coveted scoreline. NIP, they need to go flawless here in this half. I wonder if Threat can do back massages. I think Nork needs one. <laughs> they need hand massages. They need everything at this point. They need the full spa package. So do you, but the of it. I just need some tea. Gonna lose my voice before the second series, but Tizian lost his head at the start of this. It's gonna be an opening kill for NIP. A round down, a man up, and Tabson's looking to change the tide, pushing outside, traded by Nork, flashed out by his team, and it's a four on three in the favor of NIP. They've got down secret, but where will they go with that bomb that's still left back in spawn? I hate smoke gets dropped to try and give some safe passage over here outside, but Plopski right now is the only man down towards B. And for the other three to try and get across is going to be quite the challenge with no smokes left. They've got to run the gauntlet and hope that either Nork can out orp Searson or that they catch a favorable timing here. Searson has just looked away from outside as this push comes in. So they do manage just to skirt on by and get down towards B. Zantares now has to hold his ground, Ooh. only good for one. And this B site crumbles away before Big's very eyes. Searson and Keto, the two boys from Sprout, they've got to try and build something from this round, grow it from nowhere. Keto, first man to arrive at the scene, twist on the other side of the door. Searson wrapping around, but Nork has him dead to rights. Kill for Keto, but it's only one out of three, and Plopski gets the trade. NIP tie us up at 26 to 26. Final two here, first to 28. Oh, hey, a fifth overtime. I mean, again, nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. Mirage potentially coming up later, but we'll have to see if NIP can drag us there, kicking and screaming all the way. Big, they're going to be exhausted. They don't want to go to a third map. They want to end this in two, but unfortunately, it's not down to them. No one in the lower site in that round, considering how many outside takes we've seen turn into solo lurks in secret and top site hits. Big didn't want to over-rotate, and I don't blame them. Oh, look, it's outside simulator once again. NIP running, five behind the smokes. One is close to red. Hampus is hanging around, looking for exiting players, looking for those rotations, but he's going to get caught by the flashbangs. Can't afford to play too aggressive. His team are being loud and proud. And we talk about these lower takes and, and it being empty. Well, here it is once again. Zantares is the only man here and he's only good for one. The plant can come through for NIP and a very early one at that. Great shot from Nork and now hitting his 40th kill in this map. Big have to retake with a man down. All three from Ramp as well. Tizian's already deep in. There's a player down beneath him and he's not aware of that. 
The longer that Rez goes unchecked, the more valuable this position becomes. Tizian, no swing and out. Rez never even realized. And oh, oh, another for Tizian. Hampus with the wall bang to deal with him. And a two on two. Nork getting stuck in and into the site he goes. He gets it all. 27 for NIP. Map point for the Swedes. One away from taking us to Mirage. Big. You won't believe it if I told you, but they are hoping now for another <laughs> overtime in this game. At this point, maybe they're hoping for this to end so they can just get over the hump and get on to the next someone map. someone has to win. Eventually, <laughs> it has to happen. That's the logical idea, Harry, but uh, it's not really working out in practice. This ain't practice, though. This is an official, an official that will never end, and I don't even want it to. Big, what have you got for us on the CT side? Another outside take with only Popsky going behind. This is what we saw in regulation. It turned into Hampus and then it eventually turned into five man setups. But right now it's one man and one man only versus Tabson. Popsky will be able to get to secret. That close molly clears the position that we've seen so many CTs in. No one's crossed there today. Searson's gone low with the AWP. Zantaras is holding onto ramp, and that seems to be where NIP have set their sights. For now, it's going to be based off that kill. Last time this happened, they double backed into A and got mowed down by Tizzy, and this time they look like they want to commit. Oh, Zantaras gets the info. Can't get caught with a nade out again. That's been a reoccurring problem. Ramp from taken, but NIP, they're not dropping to B. Ooh. They're trying to take heaven. In response to losing ramp, Big have had to take lobby and they deal with Rez. Five on three. Another overtime on the line. Unless Twist, Hampus and Nork have got it in them to end this now. Keto couldn't get caught in main and he will. Tizian trying desperately to pick up the pieces. That Molotov oh, no. might make him oh, no. gun. And Tizian burns out. It's a three on three. Three, all on the back of Twist, another shot for Nork. Searson goes down and it's only Zantares left. Oh no, Big, they've done so well to make it last this long. But now all the hopes, all the dreams fall onto Zantares in what should be an impossible round. Half the time ticked off this bomb already. They don't know his whereabouts, but Hampus Holding has it dead to right.